ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೇ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವೈಶ್ಯ ಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮುಖಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ ಶ್ನಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಶತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರನ್ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಿಂಚಿನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತ್ತಿಹಂ ಪುನತ ಬಾಲ ಭವಾದೀಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದ ಪಲ್ಲವನಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿಗೋಧೂಷದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ವನಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಪಾಂಕರು ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸಾಧಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸಾಧಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧಾನುಪಾಲು ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರವಂದಿಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶ ಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ 
लक्ष्मीर्यश च बक्षसी जस्त हृदय संबीतम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बहूना जन्म नमंत ज्ञानवान प्रबद्धते वासुदेव सर्वीति सौमता सुदुर्लभ <coughs> बहूना जन्म नमंते ज्ञानवान मं प्रपद्यते वासुदेव सर्वीति सौमहत्वा सुदुर्लभ गौरगोष्ठीपति गौरगोष्ठीपति शेषिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट टू डू हरि भजन दैट इज द ओनली पैथवे ओपन फॉर अस टू डू वी डोंट हैव एनी अदर ड्यूटी टू डू अपार्ट फ्रॉम डूइंग हरि भजन वी डोंट हैव एनी अदर ड्यूटी गौड़ गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट वी हैव ओनली वन ड्यूटी दैट इज टू just to do hari kirtan to just to hear hari katha that's it we don't have any other duty just to do hari bhajan that is our only duty that's it we have don't have any other duty that the duty which is so called duty which we are actually thinking that is just by the actual prabhav of maya that is the actual effect of maya we don't have any other duty apart from that our only duty is to just to do hari bhajan that's it this human body we are getting this is very much uh, uh, surprising and it's very very rare to get this uh, human body which we are getting this is very much rare and it's very very rare to get this kind of human body and in this uh, and in this birth as a in a human body that is the most uh, most rare thing which we are getting that this human body which we are getting that is very much rare and this is very in its temporary as well but still that uh, according to the spiritual and transcendental aspect if we are the it is temporary for a small time but that is uh, of topmost use for our spiritual benefit and those who are intelligent those who are very much intelligent those who are actually intelligent who are actually intelligent they they the actual uh, the body they are using it for sadhana and other kind of things that all kind of material things they have already left out and just for a for fraction of second they are not at all wasting their time without any by one without delaying a fraction of second in their life that for absolute charam mangal topmost mangal in their life that top most mangal in order to get that they are actually doing all kinds of uh, efforts that is the top most intelligence cha cha manishinam ja satyam anrite neha martena aplati amritam buddhiman the in the top most intelligent of all the intelligent person and in the sadhus out of those sadhus the top most sadhu is that who knows that this human body is very temporary and is for very small uh, purpose of time we are getting that and this is very rare to get this human body vaikuntha piyo darshanam vastavik bhut that those who are actually uh, intelligent persons they are actually this sadhan uh, which we are have to do sadhan with this human body which we are getting it by this all kind of uh, material things that kind of duties we are doing we are putting efforts he is actually just leaving that and without actually wasting his fraction of second um, immediately he will be going towards that absolute mangal towards that ap- absolute truth that is more more and more uh, important to do and 
that top most uh, absolute uh, mangal in order to get that we just need to take the actual uh, uh, sadguru ashray we just need lot of people are actually doing a uh, taking sadguru ashray because it's going in all the whole world but those who have actually taken the shelter of sadguru that is the most important thing in life sadguru charan that lotus feet of sadguru the actual ashray if we will be taking is it in our life then who is actually sadguru what he will do for us that inside my heart that kind of bahirmukh that uh, which is not at all anukul for uh, all anukul vishay to of bhakti he will be just uh, imbibing inside our heart that and he will be just uh, getting us away from all the vishay which are actually pratikul of bhakti which is against bhakti and he will be just uh, indulging us in doing hari bhajan sadguru that whatever kind of bahirmukh ruchi we have which is against bhakti that kind of bahirmukh bhachi he will not be talking in in front of that he will not be he will be just he will not be talking what is against bhakti we are actually uh, ruchi in uh, material things so he will not be giving us that uh, pampering that you should do this kind of material activity he will be just avoiding that for us sadguru gurudev will not at all uh, uh, speak about the things which are against bhakti he always is there to save us and protect us from this material uh, material world we have only one and one duty that is the topmost permanent duty that is to do hari bhajan apart from that we don't have any other duty to perform whatever other kind of duties which we are having which is so called kind of duties which are finding it is just by the effect of maya which we are finding that so charam kalyan that topmost kalyan in order to get that we are actually making all the efforts in this material world all those material persons that what is actually anukul in our for our ruchi that all those material people what is actually uh, speaking just uh, what is actually give us the material benefit they are all talking about that only just for our material benefit but sadguru he will be just uh, not be going he will not be doing any kind of hinsa not at all he will do for us uh, with us jeevas in order to just show him the actual pathway of shuddh bhakti and to divert him towards karma gyan etc all these kind of pathway this is actually jeev hinsa that jeevas you are actually making that you are diverting him from the pathway of shuddh bhakti and you are actually you are actually praising them to do karma gyan etc to this pathway they do this is actually jeev hansa but mo, everyone more or less everyone is actually just uh, leading all the jeevas to towards the pathway of hansa maybe more or less they are all busy in jeev hansa so sadguru so sadguru he will be actually that uh, i am actually such a fallen soul that sadguru that such a fallen soul i am that he just by seeing my unhappy state he is becoming very unhappy and sad and that topmost merciful sadguru dev he is actually always there to protect me and embrace me with uh, with his uh, two limbs all the time shrimad bhagavatam in shrimad bhagavad ji mahapuran it is written in shrimad bhagavad ji mahapuran it is written that those the gurudev uh, those were mukt purush that who knows the actual bhagavat tatva vigyan inside their heart that kind of topmost mukt purush when we are actually associating with him when we are actually he is actually giving us the actual instruction to get sharnagat on to the lotus feet that is the topmost instruction which we need to follow so whatever is my uh, there in this life everything i just need to uh, forget that and that uh, topmost ekantik uh, ashray i have to take on to the lotus feet of gurudev that everything i need to leave all material things i have to leave all material ashray everything in shrimad bhagavad ji mahapuran it is written in the bhagavad ji mahapuran is actually giving us the instruction that you just need to do leave everything in your life and only you have to take the shelter of that uh, sadguru that guru pad padma that ekantik sharan that shelter you have to take on to the lotus feet of gurudev 
that is the instruction of Srimad Bhagavatam. Prabhupada always used to speak this point that uh, to do satsang means to, you have to just leave a satsang. It is already understood this point. To do satsang, to do satsang, it means that you just need to leave a satsang. That is natural. That satsang will be going on, a satsang will be going on, it is not at all possible. Simultaneously, not at all possible. It is not at all possible at all. Yesterday I was discussing uh, on this point that Bhagwan, that from the lotus navel of uh, Bhagwan from the Mahavishnu, navel a portion of, of Mahavishnu, that Chaturmukh Brahma, four faced Brahma, has just got Avidbhav from the lotus navel of Mahavishnu, and from all the four directions there is darkness. And uh, nothing we can just uh, see that what I am, what is my actual identity, from where I have just uh, came out, what is my introduction, my identity, I don't know. And after that, that tapo, 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 three times that uh, word is just coming out from somewhere. And I have already just discussed this point yesterday as well, that uh, if someone actually just questioning you, that Brahma is actually, Brahma is just now having taken birth, now only. Just now he has taken birth from the navel portion of Mahavishnu. And how we can understand that he understood that, what do you mean by tapo? How he understand that word tapo? Just by the actual uh, guidance of Bhagwan from inside the heart, that the actual uh, uh, word, meaning of the word, you can understand that. I have already told. This lot of uh, divisions of Shabd are there, like that words. Lot of divisions are there like this of words. And the actual earth both of the word which we am, I am ex explaining, the actual meaning of the word, if by the Bhashya of Prabhupada we are actually thinking of that, then Prabhupada actually used to speak Avidra Drudi Vritti. That translation, it is very much impossible to do. Vidya Drudi Vritti and Avidya Drudi Vritti. Avidya Drudi Vritti means then are in ignorance. Ushamay. at that time when Jeevas are in ignorance at that time, the word actually, the actual uh, meaning of the word is coming. That is Adrudu Drudi Vritti. That up till that point where we will get realization that word there is extension of the meaning of that word, special word. You can get that. And Vritta Dhurudi Vritti means that of the word, the actual meaning of the word, the real meaning of the word, the inside meaning of the word, that is called Vritta Dhurudi Vritti. That word, that is called Vritta Dhurudi Vritti means that inside that the actual meaning of the word, what it is. What is the inner meaning of that word? What is the actual earth word? What will be the actual real meaning of that word? That is called Vritta Drudi Vritti. That's why Deep Goswami Bhat in Harinamrit Vyakran he has written. But apart from that, just writing in the first slok he is writing. What he is writing? Deep Goswami Bhat the in the Vyakran what he has written that Abhavaniya that which is inconceivable that is topmost excellency is there that in Harinam Nita Vyakram there is uh, no shlok whatever you are actually understanding every word of Bhagwan will definitely come that is Vyakran while just reading Vyakran also my bhajan is not at all getting destroyed I can't destroy my time uh, by not doing bhajan. If I will be just doing Vyakran, then I will be just disremembering Bhagavan at that time. So that's why Jeeva Goswami Pad, in each and every shloka, he is actually just uh, uh, putting the name of Bhagavan. He has just uh, attached the name of Bhagavan with the Vyakran. Actually, uh, he has just attached about the every name of Bhagavan, he has just attached with that. Why? Because that Vyakran is, that is not Paravidya, that is not topmost Vidya, that is not Aprakrit Vidya, that is Vidya, but that is not Aprakrit Vidya, that is not Paravidya. Vedas also, it is not at all essential. The actual Anushasan of the word, the Shabd Anushasanam, the actual behavior of the word, that Anushasan, this word, 
this is very much important in order to just understand the word of the vedas but this is not the act this is not paravidya the paravidya is that by which we can understand bhagwan that is the actual paravidya so jeev goswami pad in vyakran already he has just written that what he is written narayan udbhuto varnakram 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 that uh, kha ghe, ghe, all this actually is coming from narayan means a b c d everything came from narayan so this tap a word what do you mean by actual, actual meaning how brahma can just understand that if someone actually putting some argument regarding this that brahma ji has just uh, taken birth now made his avirbhav and bhagwan if wants then he can give the real meaning inside the heart of each and every one he can do that in the puran also in the puran also in garg sangeeta different different places it is written that bhagwan that even to birds and uh, beast also bhagwan is talking with them even with the birds and beast bhagwan is actually talking that is very much surprising to see even with birds and beast also bhagwan is talking that gopikas are asking that uh, what you are doing that you are actually talking with bird huh? that they actually started laughing gopikas are if he is talking with bird he says can you talk with them yes krishna speaking yes i can talk with them bhagwan is parmatma inside everyone's heart uh, okay you tell me narottam das thakur narottam das thakur when went to manipur and in the manipur bhashu narottam das thakur don't know at all narottam das thakur in bengali has done bengali kirtan there kushibo gaurang guner nidhi kotha gele pap ye to bataya this already told by narottam das thakur in the kirtan narottam das thakur has done kirtan bengali kirtan and in manipur persons actually they don't know bengali at all and narottam das thakur started in and in manipur they don't know manipuri language but each and every each and every every person started crying shan bidore suni jar guno kotha de kaise hua how it is possible they don't know the actual language how they can understand narottam das thakur's kirtan bengali kirtan how it is possible so how it is possible you just, just let me know how it is possible then they they don't know language at all but still they started crying what is the actual reason behind it the uh, the thing is that that the atma the atma language of atma is totally different the language of ba- atma the atma only knows the definition of bhakti atma the atma only knows the definition of bhakti very long before like 2 to 4 2 to 4 examples i'll be giving you very old old talkings it is very old examples chila bhakti deit madhav goswami maharaj was doing braj mandal parikrama and my gurudev was also there with and uh, avin gurupad bhakti deit madhav goswami maharaj and all my guru varg are there and in braj mandal par- parikrama one time while madhav goswami maharaj he has just uh, started doing kirtan in bengali and every punjabi bengali haryana haryana every persons are there from different different uh, states they were doing uh, bengali kirtan bhakti deit madhav goswami maharaj but bhakti deit madhav goswami maharaj started doing kirtan in bangla ha kothay gele krishna pabo kaha jaye here i should go and i can get krishna this is the this kirtan is doing when our braj gopikas that is the actual bhav of braj vasis of braj gopikas dhunte kaha dhunne jaye here i should go and uh, you search gansham this is the actual uh, kirtan of brajwasis they used to do dhunte jaye kaha kaha gansham tujhe dhunte jaye kaha kaha ye jo kirtan this kirtan actually this is actually hindi but madhav goswami maharaj actually doing bangla kirtan thoda bol kothay gele krishna babu ek this kirtan madhav goswami maharaj started and all those punjabi people one punjabi female female devotee one very uh, old lady that he actually just ask question to bharti maharaj hey maharaj that why guruji actually which kirtan is doing what is the actual meaning of that 
Bharati Ma just became very happy. Okay, Gurudev has just kirtan. What is the actual meaning of that? Then Bharati Goswami is speaking that you don't know the meaning. Then why actually you are crying? Why actually you started crying? Because I don't know actually that lady speaking. I can't re- I understand the language what pa- Guru Maharaj is speaking. But I automatically started crying. It means, what does it mean? That the, the actual language of Atma, that is Bhakti. So, tapa, tapa word means that Tapasya, Brahmaji Maharaj, already got the actual meaning of that from Bhagwan Inside the heart of Brahma, this automatically Bhagwan has just made the presence of that actual meaning of word inside his heart. And by that Tapasya, Bhagwan become very much happy with him and automatically Bhagwan. and Bhagwan become very much happy, very very happy with Brahma. Bhagwan became very very happy with Brahma. And after that, after getting happy with Brahma, Bhagwan just given Kipa to Brahma and just given him the topmost mercy to him. He started doing Kipa on Brahma after that. So this Kripa he wants to do, that by that Kripa Bhagwan after giving him that Bhagwan has just manifested its swarup in front of Brahma. That the actual Swap Prakash was a self-manifested object. That self-manifested object, that which is a self-manifested object, it is not at all forcibly you can manifest inside your heart at all. You cannot see that automatically, naturally, because that is self-manifested object. Self-manifested object, you cannot see forcibly by your own efforts. It is not at all possible. If you will be doing it forcibly, then it is not at all possible to see him. That self-manifested object, it can come automatically by, it can come or it cannot come. First day I have already told you, now you understand what I have told? That Bhagwan can, res- Bhagwan can reserve the right of not being exposed to your sense organs. That Swap Prakash Vatu, the self-manifested object, you cannot do any kind of forcible activities. He just by his Kripa and will become happy and can just manifest his natural Swarup in front of you, a transcendental Swarup. If you will do, then it is good. This, by that, but Bhagwan, he is actually speaking that he is mine. This kind of introduction Bhagwan is giving to that particular devotee. What does it mean? That Bhagwan actually just be taking uh, the Bhagwan who will be accepting him. Bhagwan who will be accepting that particular person. In front of that only Bhagwan will just uh, uh, um, will open the curtain of Maya in front of him. In each and every in in front of each and every one, it is not at all possible. In the glorification of Bhagwan, Bhagwan also speaking. Tapa. That my tapasya is everything. Bhagwan has spoken a lot of things in Gita as well. In Gita also Bhagwan speaking like that. So tapasya, so, tapasya that topmost siddhi, that is only be possible by the kripa of Bhagwan. By the kripa of Bhagwan, that uh, the Brahma is getting manifested and getting avirbhav. Bhagwan, that uh, the actual duties. Uh, of Brahma, he can understand by the Kripa of Bhagwan. That's why Bhagwan has just uh, manifested this Chatushloki Bhagavatam in front of us. If you go into the last slok of Chatushloki Bhagavat, what is it? What it is written there? The, in the last, what it is written in Chatushloki Bhagavatam? That the four shlokas were before and after that the actual instruction comes. And directly or indirectly that Tattva Jigyasa if you want to do then this this is the actual uh, topmost uh, different thing. That Jigyasa should be there all the time inside her. That Tattva Jigyasa, the actual realization of Tattva, 
that kind of uh, feeling should all the time there atma jigyasa that to re- to realize atma to realize tattva that kind of uh, 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 demand should be there for the realization that is just one kind of synonym that all it is all the same that what you are speaking atma jigyasa that is the same with tattva jigyasa that is also shabda jigyasa as well that is called brahma jigyasa all the same the meaning is all the same that tat jigyasa should be there all the time inside the heart the jivas inside their heart when tat jigyasa that kind of uh, that kind of prasang is not at all coming when self interrogation tat jigyasa atma and self interrogation tat jigyasa atma jigyasa brahma jigyasa shabda jigyasa is not at all coming that kind of tat jigyasa it is not at all getting appearance inside our heart then that kind of question is not coming of self interrogation then he will not get an actual benefit in his life that's why you can see that in the last that four shlok already is there till there it to chal hi raha hai this already is there and char shlok that all these four shlokas that brahma ji that brahma ji he has just got that tatva gyan from bhagwan he has realized that this i will come afterwards so that prasang which i have already just picked this topic that kya sanatana onnay vyati rika abhyam jatsa sarvatu sarva ye bataya na this actually is told no and, and in the last what is told uh, you just tell me the last word tab samatishto parameno samadina भवान कल्प विकल्प पीसफुल समातिष्ट when there is actually kind of tatva gyan is not at all getting established inside the heart of a bonded jiva then he is becoming unstable all the time that kind of foolishness will be there in in, in his life he is becoming unstable all the time that tatva gyan after getting the actual uh, uh, news of that all kind of uh, uh, foolishness and can you can get out of that bhagwan actually speaking to Bha- brahma bhagwan kalpo vikalpo namo vijit kai ye mat this is samat just by taking that gyan you just take that and just to sit and what kind of seva i have given to you that what kind of seva i have given to you that bhavan mane a that you kalp vikalp whatever it's going on everything in that you you should get that the attraction towards that that is not at all possible towards those material things it, it is not at all possible to get attracted to them but if someone is actually questioning that why brahma actually just kidnapped the boys and cows of braj you cannot understand you haven't understand the point this this is the actual by yog maya of bhagwan it is all happened if brahma has hasn't done like that then why in bhagwat ji mahapran this kind of uh, uh, this kind of secrecy cannot come in front of us that bhagwan has just manifested himself in four hand forms and if arjun if he is not at all question bhagwan then how it is possible that we can get the actual prasang of gita in front of us if we are thinking that brahma is foolish number 1 then definitely we are actually just uh, speaking foul words to our guru varg our guru varg is there no yes our adi guru brahma ji is our adi guru so how we can speak all rubbish about brahma ji man krishna definitely is gurudev krishna you just leave he is actually topmost guru krishna bande jagat guru but the first point in our uh, in our uh, creation brahma is the first person and if i am actually speaking that brahma is foolish number 1 and he is uh, is full of kama so then definitely we are actually on the lotus feet of our guru var we are actually doing aparad brahma ji bhagwan just speaking on his own this point bhagwan speaking on his own this word kalpo vikalpo 
सृष्टि का ये कल्प एंड विकल्प दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्चुअल क्रिएशन प्रोसेस यू कैन जस्ट इंक्रीज एंड डिक्रीज बट दैट वॉट काइंड ऑफ ड्यूटीज यू आर डूइंग एट द सेम टाइम दैट माया विल नॉट एट ऑल टच यू भगवान स्पीकिंग टू ब्रह्म सो ब्रह्म मोहन वॉट इट यू मीन बाय ब्रह्म मोहन हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल टू गेट दिस काइंड ऑफ लीला दैट ब्रह्म मोहन दैट इट इज जस्ट बाय द डिजायर ऑफ भगवान वी कैन सी इफ वी आर थिंकिंग दैट ब्रह्म इज एक्चुअली फूल नंबर वन देन डेफिनेटली वी गोन डू अपराध ऑन टू लोड स्वीट ऑफ ब्रह्म द गुरु because brahma actually he is actually taking tattva gyan from bhagwan you he has taken it or not yes brahma ji has taken tattva gyan from bhagwan which i have already discussed it before kabhi yahi yahi jo sura hai bataya na is evolved told you na yadi kitar ratas charthi su savik saran tene brahma hridaj aadi kabhi mai hanti yo sura yo e jo bataya this i have already told तेन ब्रह्म हृदय इट मीन्स दैट भगवान श्री कृष्ण बाय बाय द कृपा ऑफ भगवान श्री कृष्ण बाय द मर्सी ऑफ भगवान श्री कृष्ण दैट इनिशिएशन प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्रह्मा इज डन एंड फ्रॉम ब्रह्मा जी नारद जी इज गेटिंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड इज दीक्षित इट्स ऑलरेडी रिटर्न देयर इन नारद जी हैज जस्ट टोल्ड इन द एक्चुअल इफ दिस परंपरा इज गोइंग ऑन लाइक दैट देन आवर आदि गुरु ब्रह्मा इज एक्चुअली फुलिश then the whole parampara will just go into vain it will go into water the param from the parampara this tattva gyan is actually cannot stay if this kind of conception is coming inside our mind to bhagavat kripa to by bhagavat kripa and especially lot of sahajiyas and all those rubbish and foolish people they actually are speaking like this that brahma ji has no uh, knowledge of rasatatta at all hmm. they had no knowledge of rasatatta brahma brahma ji maharaj at all he is actually dry how they can speak like that kaise bataiye how they can speak like that you tell me that if brahma ji in brahma samhita we are actually starting in brahma samhita you can see here bhagwan He has given Kam Gayatri to Brahma. That Kam Gayatri, Kam Beach, but Kam Gayatri. What does it mean? That if Rasa Bodh is not at all there in with Brahma, then he has got Kam Gayatri. Bhagwan has given him. So then Bhagwan has given that from infinity Brahma and that Bhagwan actually is giving to Brahma and Brahma actually giving to Narada Ji. Brahma is the Narada Ramoti. भगवत कृपा ब्रह्मा जी भगवत दर्शन दैट इज सर्व शक्तिमान सचिदानंद विग्रह भगवान तत् भगवान तत्व ज्ञानी वॉन्ट्स टू अटेन दैट एंड भगवान स्तुति दैट ऑल दीज टू थिंग्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दैट ऑन दस टेकिंग द सपोर्ट ऑफ दैट प्रसंग अवर दैट ब्रह्म संहिता इज गेटिंग स्टार्टेड ब्रह्म संहिता इज नथिंग दैट इज वॉट ब्रह्मा जी हैज जस्ट बाय डूइंग तपस्या दैट बाय भगवत कृपा what all kind of things he has realized he has just uh, uh, written his realization his direct realization he has written there that brahm samhita that brahma is swayam the actual author of brahm samhita you can understand that by bhagavat kripa brahma ji in the life of brahma this kind of lila all kind of sarv shakti man sachidanand vigra bhagwan tatva he can get the he got the actual bhagavat stuti and topmost brahma knowledge just by uh, getting it together he get that bhagavat spurti that consciousness towards bhagwan he has got inside his heart that is got avirbhav inside his heart appeared inside his heart this is not a normal book at all just be careful this is not a normal book in this granth in this book 
that in the hundred adhyayas are there. That in Abrakrit Jagat, what actually is going on? We don't have any kind of realization in a bonded state at all. We cannot understand that. In Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran, that that one lakh shlokas are there, but eighteen thousand shlokas are visible in front of us. Mahabharat has one lakh shlokas. Sorry, Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran has eighteen thousand shlokas. So whatever be the case, now you can see this vichar that that by Bhagwan that Brahma Ji has got the Tattva Gyan inside his heart and has that Tattva Gyan just got appeared inside the heart of Brahma by the Kripa of Bhagwan. This Granth that it has hundred adhyayas out of that that fifth adhyay. Out of that fifth adhyay, that fifth chapter, that total hundred adhyay, one hundred four chapters. That hundred four chapters are from Mool Brahma Samhita. Out of this hundred chapters, that is the fifth chapter. That is the fifth adhyay. That is the fifth uh, chapter out of the hundred chapters. And uh, this kind of Bhagavad Siddhanta. That Bhagavat Siddhant, that Bhagavat Tattva Gyan, this Siddhant Vichar, we can. That is the actual Mool Sutra. That is fifth. If you are actually thinking fifth canto, that all the four hundred cantos, that how many hundred cantos are there written there about that the actual gist, the summary you can get it in the fifth canto. It means that all that Brahm Samhita Granth, just by doing Pratibad. That definitely it is there about the creation that it's already there in that fifth adhyay only, fifth chapter only, and that other jalila me Bhagwan Shri Krishna Jadan ne Mahaprabhu that has went to South India to take this special book with him. We are actually Nana Matavad that gram means uh, Mayavadi that I've already told in my uh, Jadan Jadan with this shloka. Bande, Sikhista Chaitanya Prabhu Bande, Balu Yopi Jagano Grad, Tare Nana Moto Graham, Berto Sidan to Sagaram, Si Chaitanya Prabhu Bande, Balu Yopi Jagano Grad, Tare Nana Moto Graham, Berto Sidan to Sagaram. In South India. That no, so much Mayavadis are there. Nibarka charges also have some effect. Ramanuja charges, Madhva charges, lot of effect is there of them. That topmost sampradaya, lot of sampradaya are there. That's why. That Odharja Lilamai, that in that Odharja Pradhan, that Bhagwan Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He has just went to the South India, where actually different different kind of matvas and mayavadis are there, in order to just save them. Mahaprabhu has just went to South India. He has went to South India, and Kerala. You can uh, now speak Kerala, Kerala nowadays. This in this state, there the actual capital city is Trivandrum. That uh, the actual Kerala's capital is uh, Trivandrum. Mahaprabhu has just went to take darshan of Anant Padmanabh temple there. Mahaprabhu actually going there to take darshan, and that time Vaishani Vaishani Nadi river is just Vaishani uh, river at the bank of that Vaishani Vaishani river at the bank of that that at Adikesh of temple in front of some devotees. And at the corner of Paishini River, and just near to Adikesh of Temple, Bhagwan actually actually just went to take darshan of Anand Padmanabh and seen that in this temple 
the very lot of de- some devotees actually are just speaking this brahm samhita and with full anand they are actually doing that and bhagwan become top most happiness he got after getting full of anand he has just written this book completely he has copied that and after that mahaprabhu this book and another book mahaprabhu has taken from the south india in the way of the south indian tour in the way of south indian tour mahaprabhu has just taken out brahma samhita and krishna karanamrit this two top most granth mahaprabhu has taken from south india just for the actual mangal of ours he has done that that in brahma samhita is speaking the tatva vigyan and in krishna karanamrit also that rasa tatva that actual uh, uh, innovative vichar of rasa tatva is there innovative vichar of rasa tatva is there in chaitanya chaitamrit also it is written that mahaprabhu has just gone to the corner of paishani river in the brahman samaj he has just went to the close of close to the veranda of hadikeshav temple and he has just saw those brahmans speaking brahm samhita and they actually just copied that same book from the brahmans and just became topmost anand he got and krishna ka namrit and brahm samhita these two books mahaprabhu has taken from south india so that is the actual vichar of mahaprabhu and in the devotees uh, in the field of devotees he has just distributed that mahaprabhu mahaprabhu has just distributed his kripa in the form of brahm samhita to us and after that we have just got this kind of book karna krishna karna abhidan brahm samhita everything before that it is not at all there it's already there in chaitanya charitamrit in brahma sangita saman brahma sangita ka that apart from brahm brahma samhita there is no other any shastra available which can give uh, actual uh, thing to us no shastra is there in competition with brahm samhita at all or and what it is written sath bache siddhanto shastro siddhanto shastro nahi brahma sangitar saman govind mahima gyaner param karan samano tale kya bataye what actually it's written siddhanto shastro nahi brahma sangita saman govind mahima gyaner param karan अल्प अक्षरे कही सिद्धांत अपार सकल वैष्णव शास्त्र मध्य अति सात इन वेरी स्मॉल वर्ड इन समरी इन समरिकल वर्ड दैट ऑल सार ऑफ सिद्धांत एक्चुअली इज देअर थोड़ी सी इन वेरी स्मॉल वर्ड दैट टॉप मोस्ट सिद्धांत विच आर एक्चुअली इज रिटर्न इन दिस बुक फ्रॉम समिता एंड द that all the vaishnav shastra whatever it is written there in the vaishnav shastra that brahma samhita has some unique uh, effect on everyone pehle ne log kitab with these two books these two books mahaprabhu has taken from south india and after that he has just distributed in the devotees among devotees distributed means he has distributed he has just taken all the he has just copied it on uh, the leaf and just uh, given it to the vaishnav samaj this topmost granth brahma samhita to the vaishnav he this is very respected uh, granth in vaishnav samaj it's already written in chaitanya charitamrit each and every vaishnav शिलाजीव गोस्वामी पाद ऑल्सो 
in Brahma Samhita, and uh, this Brahma Samhita has already uh, written one commentary, very long and lengthy commentary he has written, Jeev Goswami Pada on Brahma Samhita. That Brahma Samhita, the actual commentary Jeev Goswami Pada has also written in a very long format. Bhakti no Thakurji has in order to just uh, confront that meaning of Brahma Samhita, in order to easily confront the meanings of Brahma Samhita easily so that we can easily understand what is written in Brahma Samhita. That in order to just understand this actual Granth easily, Bhakti no Thakurji Bhakti no Thakurji has just told the Sar Mamra, that is the actual summary of the topmost lengthy description into a very brief description. He has just converted that and he has written the actual summary of this whole Brahma Samhita. He has written that in a very summarical and short and brief form in front of us. And in the Gaudiya Samaj, in the Gaudiya Vaishnav Samaj, that Bhakti Vinod Thakur, that kind of actual uh, commentary, what he has written, that kind of commentary is very unique and is topmost uh, explanation what he has done. Yesterday I have already told that Brahma Samhita each and every shloka we will be discussing day by day and what is the actual topmost uh, topmost vishay vastu object yesterday uh, i will start with one thing that the actual upasya tatya for krishna worshipable object in the infinity world krishna is the only worshipable object in this infinity world that is the only worshipable object krishna that is the upasya vastu and whatever who has came from krishna they are actual all Vishnu Tattva and all that is also there. Definitely it is there as well. This definitely is there. But it's written there that Bhagavan Sri Krishna is that is the Upasya Vastu. About that now today by the Kripa of Bhagavan we will be starting it. Krishna Satchirananda Vigraha Anadi Radhi Govinda Sarvakarana Gaur. Yesterday I have just told you about, about this thing in a very short and brief description I have given. Prabhupada actually speaking. That is Sarapparama Krishna. By this word, what do you mean? What is the actual meaning of this word? What do you feel by this word? But what we have understood? Ishwara Parama Krishna means Are Maharaj. Ishwar Parama Krishna means that Krishna is the Param Vastu, topmost object. Okay. But our Guru Varg actually speaking that Ishwar by this word Ishwar Parama Krishna by this word the meaning is that that he is the absolute worshipable object that is Parama Krishna he is the absolute worshipable object that our relationship with Bhagwan as the Sivya Sevak relationship with Bhagwan that is nitya that is transcendental that is uh, without any time bondage and other one is that Parmeshwar is Krishna and his body is not like that ours Bhagwan's body is Satchid Anand Vigraha Satchid Anand that Sat, that existing, ever existing, that Chid Madhav Chinmay and, uh, and Anandamay means Sat Chid Anandamay Vigraha Krishna is having. That uh, for uh, temporary pe objects, those who are foolish people, they are having attraction for temporary objects, those who are number one foolish, they are actually just getting attracted towards on that uh, temporary things. They are getting attracted to temporary things. The Guru Vaishnav don't have time to pay any attention to these temporary things. That towards temporary things, I have a lot of like and disliking this kind of bhav. My preference or non-preference, this kind of things are actually there. This all actually is there. This uh, in the this is the actual vichar of the bonded jivas. 
this is the actual vishaya of bonded jivas those who are actually pure guru vishnav they are actually not at all uh, thinking about the actual uh, meaning of those uh, material vishaya these are actually tuch vishaya that they are not at all having paying any attention on the material wishes they don't have any time to pay them Now, krishna else also actually speaking in one place that ishwar is there okay after parameshwar okay param krishna that it is like this krishna is already speaking satyananda vigra also there anadi radhir govind this me anadi radhir means that bhagwan govind apart from that there is no cause he is the root cause of all the causes bhagwan govind all kinds of uh, infin- in infinity brahmand prakrit and aprakrit uh, world whatever you can see that is actually govind that uh, apart from that uh, there is no other cause of, apart from govind and by by why we are actually speaking this word govind the first actually it is used ishwar and after that parameshwar after that krishna after that sachidananda vigra okay he sachid but anadir adir govind anadir adir govind that why actually speaking govind here govind what is that the reason is behind this to speak govind is that that adi kavi that brahma who is the adi poet by the actual uh, uh, kripa of bhagwan he actually wants to speak this why is speaking govind the actual uh, reason behind is that that by this word govind that brahma is actually just making this kind of petition in front of us that go means that our sense organs that our all our sense organs go means our sense organs all material sense organs and who is actually running all those sense organs go means our sense organs that all our sense organs are actually getting controlled and just maintained by that bhagwan who is actually running that directly or indirectly that is called govin bonded jeevas actually just started by maya devi that is also bhagwan and for pure devotees bhagwan actually is just running their sense organs so all the sense organs who are actually following them they are actually that is govind that is why the name is called govind sarva karana karanam shila prabhupada ji in from in that brahma samhita prakashini that brahma samhita inside brahma samhita prakashini by speaking that very nicely he has written it is written by bhaktinath thakur actually writing bhaktinath thakur ji writing that brahm samhita prakashan there we will be discussing it if we will be discussing it then okay it will take lot of time i'll just be speaking two words in this point from brahm samhita prakashani in bengali he is speaking just understand the point it's very easy shantanto ratno sangrehe sangrohe vishesh jatno kori brahma shri krishna stobilo ei granthe sei stob manaver subai bhav pancho adhyaye nivedilo shri gaurango kripa sindhu koli jiber ek bandhu dakshinatto bhramite bhumite ए ब्रह्म संगीता धन करिलेन उद्धरण गौरव जीवे उद्धार करिते नाना शास्त्र विचारिया तार टीका विरोचिया श्री जीव गोस्वामी महाशय गौरीय भक्तगणे महा कृपा पूर्ण मने ए गंथ ओरपिला सदा स एई व्याख्या अनुसार आरो किछु लिखि बारे प्रभु मोर 
আকিনচনে এদাস হরুষিত মানে বলিয়াছে এ কথা দুই চারি প্রাকৃত প্রাকৃত ভেদী শুদ্ধ ভক্তি সহ যদি ভক্তগণ করেন বিচার কৃতাত্ব হইবে দাস পুরিবে মনের আস শুদ্ধ ভক্তি হইবে প্রসার ভক্তজন প্রাণধন রূপ জীব সনাতন তব কি পা সমুদ্র সমান টিকার আশায় গুড়ো টিকার আশায় গুড়ো যাতে বুঝি আমি মুড়ো সেই শক্তি কর বিধান জীব বচনা because the actual commentary of jeev goswami bad it's very much uh, top most very much uh, wide spread it very much long the actual commentary of jeev goswami bad what jeev goswami bad has written and this jeev goswami bad that commentary bhakti vinod thakur has just uh, written it in more simplified form has just uh, taken in front of the jeev goswami bad commentary and is just uh, speaking about that summarical description of the commentary of jeev goswami bad in geeta Shila Vishwanathi Chakravarti Path has given a very long description and Shridhar Goswami Path also has written Shila Vidya Vidya Balde Vidya Vishan also has written commentary but the very surprising thing is that that Bhakti Mnur Thakur the actual thing written by Bhakti Mnur Thakur that actually Sarmamra of Gita Shlok he has written the commentary in a very brief and brief uh, description he has written then you can understand that so much uh, summary of that is summary of the summary of that which are uh, bhakti mun thakur has written in more summarical form that balde vidya bhushan bad vishwana chakravarti bad shridhar swami all these topmost mahajans just by following the actual pathway of this uh, pur mahajans bhakti mun thakur has just written this uh, kind of all which are he has written in order to just imbibe that inside our heart just by taking uh, it up inside our heart slowly steadily bhakti mr thakur ji has just written the actual uh, uh, sambhad of gita you can just take it from shri gaudi chaitanya gaudi math at the time of my gurudev's appearance leela when gurudev actually was sampadak the author at that time he was the sabapati he has just published that at that i also have that bhasha bhakti mr thakur actually speaking nitya roop nitya gun nitya lila vishishto ek bhagwan sri krishna hi sarvapuri virajman param tattva स्वरूप श्री श्याम सुंदर मुरली मुरलीधर we can find that it is already getting trapped in our uh, siddha swarup because vigre and bhagwan is not all the same it is not at all different in jatan ji damle it is written regarding this vigraho na ho tumi sakshat bhojanda nanda vigraho na ho tumi sakshat bhojanda nanda chetana chetame dame chetana ji damle this point is actually coming that that murli dar sham sundar sachidanand vigraha murli dar sham sundar vigraha is actually manifesting his nitya swarup bhagwan ka 
that bhagwan's that achinte chit shakti it is just on the basis of pure uh, hard work that bhagwan is vibhu vastu but still how it is possible like that that bhagwan is vibhu vastu but still he has just taken the uh, doing the taking the form of human like form in front of us and just getting manifested in front of us bhagwan if bhagwan can do that can just get manifest in front of us automatically whether he is vibhu vastu bhagwan actually is vibhu vastu infinity but still he is just like doing the leela of human being and just getting manifested in front of us and just doing different kind of leelas in front of us so that's why bhagwan actually speaking that our the we human we are we humans we, that we have just uh, getting avirbhav in this uh, uh, material world getting birth in this material world and after that taking birth in material world different different kind of leelas actually bhagwan is doing that just by hearing that all those bonded jeevas can also get delivered he can become delivered from their material, present material bonded condition automatically bhagwan has already told this point मनुष्य so much effort he has they have shown on the individual efforts ravindranath thakur actually re- writing the noble laureate he is writing vyasdev ko swami pad that in bhagavad ji mahapuran avar sukhdev ko swami pad actually speaking everything is bhagwan only that the that who don't have anything any part is there still bhagwan is definitely can come in the form of human form and is just getting manifested in front of us that is his highness that is the topmost grip of bhagwan that uh, the actual mercy of bhagwan is this that infinity bhagwan is infinity that bonded jeevas bonded jeevas if that uh, with that infinity bhagwan he want to just uh, uh, attach his relationship that kind of anant rupi relationship what he wants to attach it with bhagwan that kind of relationship the bonded jeevas they don't have this kind of capacity that they can just uh, attach the relationship with bhagwan that's why bhagwan by his own will is taking the form of gurudev and is coming in front of us why because that hari anant and hari roop anant how how it is possible this statement how you can understand that hari is infinity and his swarup is also infinity that's why bhagwan is coming in the form of in uh, front of us in the form of gurudev and uh, swayam glani rvavati bharat abhutanam adarmasyo tadatmanam sijamyam paritranaya sadhunam na धर्म संस्थापना जुगे this all is written no so bhagwan by his own will he is just taking the form of ram krishna balram varaha just by his own will he is taking different different kind of swarups in front of us and coming manifesting his leela bhagwan 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 धर्म संस्थापना 
अचिंत शक्ति और भगवान भगवान इज एक्चुअली अचिंत्य ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ अचिंत्य शक्ति दैट विभो चैतन्य जीव ही इज जस्ट टेकिंग द मध्यम आकार ऑफ द ह्यूमन फॉर्म एंड ही इज बिकमिंग टॉप मोस्ट अट्रैक्शन दैट चिन माई क्वालिटीज एटसेट्रा ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वालिटीज एंड करेक्टर्स एग्जिबिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस Karan means sense organs. By his own sense organs, he is exhibiting these transcendental qualities in front of us. That is. Say, Bhagwan Nitto. Swarup me. That Bhagwan in Nitta Swarup. That Bhagwan in Nitta Swarup and in Nitta Jagat. He is becoming a samanjas. That kind of. It's a very kind of a thing which we can understand, and we just need to put a lot of brain into it in order to understand that Bhagwan, by his on the basis of his achinte shakti, that vibhu chetanya, that word vibhu word is there, but still he is just taking the form of a madhyam human being form in front of us, and just just giving that surprising and amazing, excellent uh, rasatattva. in front of us and by his own materials by his transcendental sense organs he is just giving that uh, transcendental realization to us and in guru swarup also he is just uh, uh, is very important word that sarva samanjasya with that that with full adjustment he is coming in the form of gurudev in front of us that is very much important word which i am speaking here this is nitya swarup in this nitya swarup that sarv samanjasya it means adjustment at or harmony that uh, with sarv samanjasya that with harmony he is uh, uh, coming in front of us that is the by the actual vichar of shastra that or else bhagwan actually manifesting himself in front of you both the things can happen it you knows so that swarup samanjasya this word why we are using you know that that sarva samanjasya the word is actually used here because bhagwan by his own merciful glance by his topmost mercy he has just manifested his leela in front of us he actually wants to get attracted he deserve reserve the right of being caught he is he reserve the right of being exposed to sense of what i have told that bhagwan actually reserve the right of not being exposed to our sense organs now actually it is speaking that bhagwan can also reserve the right of coming or coming in front of uh, coming in uh, grasp of our sense organs bhagwan can also reserve the right of coming in grasp of our sense organs that kind of um, self manifestation of bhagwan can easily come by his will so that is the actual mercy of bhagwan on us Raupa ji given one example regarding this that that one surya bhagwan sun 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 god with that sun god that kind of adjustable distance is there with sun bhagwan actually is showing that that with sun god we have a very adjustable our earth all the jeevas are there that there is one adjustable distance is there with the sun that adjustable means that sun god has can come very far away from us and if our earth is actually going away from the sun then that the kind of uh, uh, sunshine of the sun cannot come on the earth and definitely everything will become like ice here in the earth and everyone one will die everyone will die because there will be no uh, sunshine if that uh, from the sun god that kind of sufficient sunshine is not at all not coming because the distance become very far away then we can die very easily and if only for 3 days only for 2 to 3 days that sun god is is not coming the whole world will become full of ice and they can die the, just within 3 to 4 days they can freeze their body and they can get then they can uh, die so this is the actual thing if surya narayan narayan becoming very close to the earth then oh maharaj we will just uh, everyone will just burned up and will die within within some lakhs of kilometers within some lakhs of kilometers also 
that uh, scientists cannot go to sun that in this material world whatever metal is is there available in this material world in this material world whichever metal is available maximum melting point of that metal is platinum or other uh, metal you can see but still that within the range of some lakhs of kilometers they can't travel everything will get vaporized it will just burned up and vaporized the actual uh, uh, actual melting point of that sun it will get vaporized it will just get vapored up so this sun god by the kripa of bhagwan sur sun god by the kripa of bhagwan has has is on to certain adjustable distance that we can enjoy the sunlight and also we can lead our life very peacefully you see the thing you can do all the field work agricultural work so that grains can come rice can come and we can live our life but if it actually going away from us then it's very much difficult and if we'll come too close then we will also burn up our body so that's why this word actually is used here and bhakti mata gur using the same word sarva samanjasa means the other meaning of this is also there that bhagwan that coming in the form of sham sundar swarup in front of us automatically just like a human being he is coming just he is playing with us just in the lap of his mother he is just getting his love her love from from her mother and he is just it's eating speaking drinking everything like like just like normal human being is doing and apart from that no more adjustment is more topmost than that if bhagwan is becoming like bhagwan then if i'll but just be becoming like a very small jeev then in a very small time we cannot have that for infinity period we cannot adjust with bhagwan at all that is the actual mercy of bhagwan upon us that by the kripa of bhagwan he just like a human being is coming in front of us and is just taking the uh, swarup of gurudev in front of us and just teaching us each and everything that's why it is all proper adjustment that is with bhagwan definitely it is there if it is not at all there all the jeevas having adjustment with bhagwan then how this creation will just move is is, is there any one we should have that adjustment why because we are in maya and that's why we cannot adjust with bhagwan completely so that's why prabhupada always used to speak one word that bhagwan how he is actually getting all proper adjustment he is getting adjusted with us that our darshaniya vishay and that sevaniya vishay that seva vigraha he can become then the jeev from our side also this kind of duty is that that we also must have to that we must develop some adjustment all proper adjustment which is called yukta vairagya by the help of which we can serve bhagwan all the time to the point not fancifully you can understand what i'm speaking that we are jeevas that we are jeevatmas we also have this kind of uh, duty that bhagwan is actually making his duty done everything he has given to us and we has come in the form of human being in front of us and doing every kind of leela and given everything to us manusim tormastito eh ye this everything bhagwan has done already and from our side also we also have this kind of duty that we should develop all proper adjustment with that yukta vairagya the nisains for that relationship with bhagwan we should just need to attach with that that kind of relationship of prema with bhagwan we have to attach we have to attach that with bhagwan you understand what i'm speaking now the bonded jeevas when up till that point of me and mine that kind of doership and false ego me and mine it is not at all going from inside his heart this which are he is actually having that inside his heart up till that point in his life that actual shiksha that actual instruction he cannot get i have already just read in the childhood in the first and second class now actually becoming kg and ukg from our time it is not at all kindergarten then kg ukg like that it's not it's not like that in our uh, time but i was actually reading in the childhood and the childhood i used to read pada hai phir dusra sare that all other kind of kavi ka rachan the poets i have already 
Suman Rai, very nice, nice, different, different poems he has written. In the childhood, I have just heard that all. What is the top? What is the top most teaching? This is actually material siksha, material instruction. Just understand this point. Whether it is material instruction only, but still we are actually finding it really well. We are finding some taste in that. To some extent, it is actually dirty. It, but it is actually coming from the spiritual world. It is actually in, of the material world, but some kind of a touch of spiritual world is there. In the childhood, I have already just learned that the topmost uh, education of all the education is that is to just uh, that kind of uh, siksha what Guru Dev, Guru Vaishnava are having. What is the weapon of Guru Vaishnava? What is the actual weapon of Guru Vaishnav? That is Nam Sankirtan. You just need to distribute that to other common people. That Prema, you just need to distribute. What is the actual weapon of Guru Vaishnav? That is Prem. What is the actual weapon of Guru Vaishnav? That is called Nam Sankirtan Harikatha. You just need to distribute it to each and every Jiva. If you don't have any kind of Hinsa inside your heart, if inside the heart of the Jivas they have Hinsa, then what to do? If each, each and every Jiva, whatever he can come, you just need to accept that, that you are mine. You are mine. So this kind of uh, awareness that that in first class we have understood. The topmost teachings is to accept people as your own. Apna lena. That you just need to accept them as your own. That That you and me and this conception is coming. When there is some gapping of Maya, there is the, when the curtain of mine is gone, if I can see the whole world in relationship to, to that Supreme Lord, then everything is just get uh, solved automatically. Then now you are your husband, you are thinking that he, and the other husband is you are not at all speaking other husband as his your husband because this is actually material concept for. His mother will be doing everything will be for his son, whatever he wants. For his son, he will give me everything, not not be giving to me. He will not give to me because I am not his child. So this kind of uh, this kind of me and mine conception, this is actually uh, unknowledgeableness. This you just need to. That is the, called the top stage. You just need to remove that. When all the material world, we are actually seeing it in one with the Bhagwan. When we are making this kind of efforts to see all this material world in oneness with Bhagwan, when I can see all jivas are like me. If I can feel the pain of other as my pain. In the childhood, we already just understood. You can realize. You can realize that that even one snake, one snake bite, what kind of painful condition you can feel? You can feel that. No, you cannot feel that. One snake bite, one snake has bitten someone. What kind of pain he is getting that in his body? Can you realize that? No, not at possible, not yet possible for you. Not possible for you because that you haven't, the snake hasn't bitten you, no? The, the person who has been bitten by snake, he can realize the actual pain of that. How is the pain of the snake bite? He can understand that practically. Pain. That pain, what is that? He can understand practically that snake has bitten. Who hasn't bitten that snake? How he can understand it? Oh, maybe he has some kind of feeling that he has some snake has bitten him. But direct feeling is not at all he is possible to get. So that's why so in the life of those Matajis that they don't have any child in their life. So in the life of those Matajis they don't have they haven't begot any child up till yet. They they kind of uh, prema, they cannot realize the actual prema of a child at all. They can realize it, but near approximation they can realize, but not exactly. It is not at all possible to get that actual prema of a child. That to be got the actual prema of child, it is not at all possible for those. 
so whatever be the case but guru vaishnav that transcendental they have their transcendental heart and they can understand each and everything guru vaishnav their heart is transcendental that's why they can understand each and everything they have for everyone he has all realization and all prema for every jiva so whatever this word i have already just uh, abbreviated here in brief to you that bhagwan that that he on the basis of his achinte shakti that kind of vibhutva means that automatically he just want to make that he is vibhu chaitanya himself but he in the form of human beings is taking in in front of us and that he is becoming attractive for each and every object that he is becoming attractive for each and every one that kind of topmost chin my transcendental uh, object that all sense organs is becoming the uh, object of attraction and worship and is just coming in front of us and that nitya swarup is actually manifesting in front of us and with our proper adjustment in this infinity world and uh, transcendental and material world he is actually manifesting there himself permanently that with full proper adjustment in inside all beings he is getting manifested in very fine form as well as in transcendental form and material uh, form he is just getting manifested in front of us and at the same time he is sachidanandamay 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 bhagwan is maybe the up till that point jeevatma is also is sachidanandamay but still he is anuchaitanya very very infinite infinitesimally small that jeevatma is jeevatma is also sachidanandamay that he is he is sat sat means he is ever existing that chid means chinmay transcendental and anand means that topmost uh, transcendental bliss is there so ji- this is already in jeevatma as well just waiting for the exposure they are waiting they are just waiting for the exposure exposure of this property Sorry. everything is there but it is not at all manifested he is just want to manifest that that's it when by the kripa of guru vishnu we can get the actual kripa of guru vishnu when we can get the actual kripa of guru vishnu then that this can just get manifested in front of us it can get exposed bhagwan ka tarf bhagwan from the side of bhagwan bhagwan ka tarf from the side of bhagwan that kripa and from our side in order to take kripa this kind of request and ardent ardent desire should be there that from the side of bhagwan definitely kripa is there that bhagwan in the form of guru vishnu is coming in the form of shastras in front of us in the form of dham naam parikar everything bhagwan is getting manifested in front of us is coming in this uh, material world in front of us but from our side we need that ardent desire that sincere protest that sincere desire that sincere efforts means that definitely in order to take that also you need that kind of protest you don't have any protest oh i am very sad i am very unhappy i am not feeling happy oh then on what basis what is the actual basis of that that you are feeling unhappy what is the actual reason from our side we can do to do all kind of efforts then from the side of bhagwan that kind of effort is there and if both the things are getting together that is called success and in from the vyakaran different kind of uh, things are there i have already told everything is bhagwan in vyakaran there is no thing that apart from bhagwan is there everything bhagwan is there in that everything is bhagwan so this vibhu chaitanya this has done keep on us and he just want to do friendship with us that to jeevas just by just calling each and every one gurudev always used to speak that nityanand and gorang are just embracing their hands you come us come come to us come to me like this but jeevas are not at all coming what to do the the pravritti natural inclination is uh, towards my what to do so bhagwan actually is sachidanand mai and jeev is also sachidanand mai that ghani bhutanand that ghanshyam 
that depth is there in that anand some deep uh, sense of anand is there that in the in this jagat by this uh, swarup bhagwan actually bhagwan shri krishna nandan nandan shri krishna yashoda nandan krishna paratvar akileshwar sham sundar he has just manifested in this material world he is getting uh, avirbhav time to time and this sham sundar same in this uh, material world that kind of ansh par is parmatma that bhagwan shri krishna is swayam parmatma and is present inside the heart of it each and every jeeva in this material world that prakash ansh vastu that is parmatma that is the actual ishwar tattva and the impersonal brahm effulgence what we can see that nirvishesh brahm jyoti that is papa kehte always you should say that is chin matra anubhuti that and give you the feeling of chinmay that it is transcendental just a false uh, uh, relationship of transcendentalness but there is anand but it is just like a shadow that anand is there anand definitely is there must be there but the, that kind of uh, not uh, anand for chit vastu you will be feeling the shadow of that uh, transcendentalness inside you you follow what i am speaking the actual actual in brahm effulgence definitely there is anand in that definitely because it is from, it is from bhagwan only and bhagwan is anandamay and so definitely brahm effulgence is also part of bhagwan so inside bhagwan is actually full anand vigraha so how actually all those yogi people they are feeling anand definitely brahm has anand but that anand it is just equivalent to nal that cannot be compared with the seva anand of bhagwan at all you understand what i am speaking that cannot be compared with the seva anand of bhagwan at all there i'll give you one example that sukhdev goswami pad has given one example regarding this that khoshpat you know that the actual calf the calf of the cow he is actually just uh, if he'll be just uh, putting his uh, feet on the uh, if he is putting his feet on a uh, sand or mud that uh, calf then what kind of uh, one hole is created by his feet in the mud and uh, the water which is going in that uh, mud what is that it is nothing the water collected in that mud by the so it is nothing actually 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 anand is already there in leela that kind of relationship with bhagwan by doing seva of bhagwan just going in the leela of bhagwan you feeling more and more anand so parmatma you cannot do parmatma will not be undergoing this kind of leela parmatma is there inside our heart and brahma jyoti is chin chin matra and with that some kind of feelings are definitely there of anand some feeling is there so this actually this uh, infinity chinmay karan and different different things that karan means that indragram and chinmay karan mate means that karma means the that by the support of that bhagwan is doing that karma mai chinmay karma anant chinmay karma that different different it is becoming by the achint by the prabhav presence of achinte shakti it is just getting distributed and just giving that the topmost uh, transcendental behavior and advitya chid vigraha of bhagwan we can get manifest i'll be just discussing uh, this kind of vichar because it is very much important bhakti mein thakur has written in order to understand it is very important that anant chin mai karan yes like the case uh our kya kahe what you speak om sahasra shrestha sahasra pad jo hai hamara jo jis stotra ke dwara that stotra brahma ji has just given stuff on to lotus feet of bhagwan that bhagwan that is only one and the same bhagwan there i'll be just discussing a bit of uh, discussion is very much important prithak prithak ho ke bhi anant chinmay that his by his achinta shakti different different kind of uh, 
Now you see, one I'll give you one example that only one Bhagwan Sri Krishna is there, and only one Bhagwan Sri Krishna is there. In Dwaraka he is doing Lila. Then Naraji Maharaj become very fearful and surprised to see how it is possible like that. The same Bhagwan is there that he is doing sixteen thousand hundred eight Mahishis. Each and every building, each and each and every block. Bhagwan actually doing different uh, manifesting his different swarup in front of uh, and uh, Naraji has seen that Leela and somewhere Bhagwan actually with her wife like Sat with Satyabhama he is actually just enjoying with Satyabhama and uh, other place with some other wife that kind of uh, just uh, playing with his child and uh, some sometimes he is giving to. Dan Dakshina to Brahman, and is sometimes we taking bath. So that is Achinti Shakti of Bhagwan. Like in Ras Lila, you can see only one Bhagwan Shri Krishna is giving uh, that association with uh, la- millions of Gopikas. And in this material world, if you will just make give an example, that Bhagwan in very fine form, we cannot see him, but directly or indirectly, everything is Bhagwan. Everything is just maintained by Bhagwan. Whatever kind of avatar, whatever kind of whatever we can see, all actually is Bhagwan, Bhagwatattva, Vaman Swarup, Bhagwan is taken, Purma Swarup, Varaha Swarup, Nirsingha Swarup, everything. So Bhakti Mahatma Thakur actually is speaking. He wants to speak that uh, that Ananta Gun, the actual what Bhagwan actually attached with that Infinity Gun. Characteristics and qualities, according to his. Chinta shakti krame jatha jatha binnasta all proper adjustment jaha jo jaruri. Here actually what is important that with all proper adjustment, Bhagwan that topmost chidd vigra he is actually manifesting uh, nitya in that condition. Nitya means permanently. That Bhagwan is actually definitely is nitya is permanent. In this material world, uh, this this world, Bhagwan, we cannot see that with our naked eyes. But definitely, Bhagwan is nitya vastu. And in the other place, we in Varaha Swarup, we can see Bhagwan can that is also nitya somewhere. Actually, today Bhagwan has just got manifested in Kurma Swarup and Narsing Swarup. This is all nitya lila actually, because it's chid vigra. That Bhagwan's vigra is chid. So this Sri Vigraha. And Sri Krishna is not different from each other. You are not at all vigraha. And just by speaking, yes, vigra is good word. But in order to just understand this vichar, I am speaking like that. In order to understand this vichar completely. What does it mean? If someone actually thinking opposite. छोटा विप्र व्हाट ही हैज डन छोटा विप्र ही वांट्स टू स्पीक छोटा विप्र दैट यू एंड योर विग्रह इज नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम इच अदर बट फुलिस पीपल कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड फुलिस पीपल विल बी थिंकिंग दैट ए महाराज दिस छोटा विप्र हैज टोल्ड दैट ही यू आर नॉट एट ऑल विग्रह यू आर वजेंद्र नंदर हिमसेल्फ ही विल बी नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस पॉइंट सो इनर मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज दैट दैट छोटा विप्र एक्चुअली वांट्स टू स्पीक that bhagwan you and your vigraha yourself is non uh, is not different from each other you are not at all vigraha means definitely or krishna himself so that is a thing so where there but whosoever mahajan that whatever in this whole material world or in uh, heaven that whatever kind of vigraha we can find of bhagwan those who are actually established by those mahapurush those who are established by that uh, mahapurush wherever vigraha is there wherever you can go every every vigraha is is bhagwan swayam that anant padmanabh also tirupati balaji 
Ranganatham, wherever you can go, Venkateshwar, wherever you will go, everywhere is self-manifested Vigraha. So that is Bhagwan. But only he is taking different, different forms and he is taking different Vigraha and different Swaroop there. That's it. But he swam Bhagwan. So that which is Vigraha, that is Bhagwan swam. Bhagwan, the actual, the Vigraha of Bhagwan and Bhagwan himself, there is no difference in that. If you are, if you are, you are actually making some kind of difference, then you are Mayavadi. Differences will not create, different, creation of difference will not at all possible in the case of Bhagwan. That kind of difference uh, with Vigraha and Bhagwan is not at all possible. And, and Bhagwan and his uh, Atma is not at all different from each other. Like the case of bonded jivas, that Atma is different and Paramatma is different and the person is different. Deho and Dehi, this concept, there is difference is there in a normal jiva. Deho and Dehi, this kind of difference, Parthakya, it is not applicable for Bhagwan, but it is applicable for jivas because Bhagwan, each and every body limb of Bhagwan, the, apart from Bhagwan, even the dham of one, one particle of dham also is chinmay. So, how it is possible that, uh, that uh, Bhagwan's Atma is different? It's not like that. That Bhagwan, that is same Vigraha. That is, that is Bhagwan. That for Bhagwan, Atma is not different. So, whatever be the case, tomorrow we will be just discussing on this Vishay more. And after that, we will be just going towards the second sloka of the Brahm Samhita I will be going. Today, I will be just uh, putting rest on to this point. Sachidananda Vigraha. What it's written there? Sachidananda Vigraha Anadi Radhi Govindo Sarpa Karano Karanam Yatak Ajit. this point, I'll be just uh, rest up till this point. Maybe uh, next Saturday, we will be starting uh, from on this Vishay and we will be going ahead after that. The discussion should be like that in which that topmost that uh, we can understand each and everything from uh, up we can't uh, understand everything in the Karthik month also a lot of things I want to speak but I couldn't speak that why because of my voice actually so much actually becoming a barrier that I it is just getting choked up I can't speak so that my health is not at all good and I don't have any relationship with that my with my Harikatha that I am in a, I am actually just sleeping in the uh, bed and at that time actually I am just getting up and going into the Harikatha. At the time of Harikatha, uh, with that, my Atma is actually connected. My voice is getting choked. So this kind of uh, choking of my voice is someone actually has done some kind of magic. So what I can do in that? So what I want to speak, I can't, couldn't speak that. My actually voice is becoming so much choked up that I couldn't speak. So much uh, pain I am getting at that time. So whatever be the case, today I will be just uh, uh, resting up to this point. Isharaha Paramakishra Sachidananda Vigraha Anadir Adi Govindo Sarvakarana Karanam Bahunam Janma Namam Te Gyanavanam Gyanavanam Maam Prapadrati Vasudevaha Sarvamiti Samahatta Sudur Lava Vanchakalpadrosa Kipasindhvaj Patitanan Pavanabha Vishnabhyo Namam